What's up guys? Good morning. It's uh, it's early morning and what are we doing today? We are packing up, I don't think we're getting it all packed, but we're packing up a decent amount of pottery to get out for the Kickstarter. I so, Yep, we're gonna bring you along with me. Uh-huh, he just wants to go on the tractor. All right, well, let's start uh, making up some boxes and packing and chipping. So I think most of the stuff that we have <coughs> without handles, I'm gonna ship just the one box method. Like, just the box, oh. bubble wrap, a little bit of peanuts, we use biodegradable peanuts. Uh, and then anything with a handle, we do the two box method. So I use like a five by five by five or six by six by six box, depending on the size of the mug, wrap in bubble wrap, and then put it inside of a bigger box, like a 10 by 10 by 10 box. And then that pretty much ensures that it won't break. Let's do it. Hey. Oh. Uh, so it turns out <clears throat> packing and shipping stuff with a little two-year-old is kind of difficult, but every little bit counts. And we got 220 pots to pack up and ship out, so just making dents every day. So these are for the shot cups, so then we'll just bubble wrap those up and get them in. We'll see ya when we're packing this all up. We're ready to pack up some shot cups, right? <laughs> I mean, we also have 11, so we don't have to use that one with the imperfection. Right? Didn't I count 11? Oh, this one's pretty. Look at that. Yeah. I know. Isn't it amazing the difference sometimes? Like, they're all the same blade, yet this one has more light. Like, that is it's just... Ah, it all matters, like, where it where is it is in the kiln. Matters. Yeah, how thick the glazes is. It's scary to ship, isn't it? These bowls. Yeah, they are. <laughs> this is what frustrates me when I'm on a roll. Like... Um, how do you feel about this project that we're doing right now? What? Oh, it's just, it's... <laughs> yeah. We got all the shot cups packed up and we got most of the bowls all packed. We're making dents. We got the smallest things and the largest things almost done. So basically our goal is for this whole week, we're just gonna pack up like 10 or 15 things every night and then yeah. hopefully by the end of the week, we'll be like 75% done with all the Kickstarter stuff. There you go. So we are actually, look how big, look how big this is. These are all biodegradable peanuts. So super, unfortunately the bubble wrap is not, but nothing replaces bubble wrap in terms of being able to uh, protect things. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> to Let's get her done. Let's go. I'm working on it. It's hard to film. Put it in a box. Ah. Here, yeah, you just guide it. Okay, we're gonna have to pick up so many things. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's kind of smell like writer's breath. <laughs> <laughs> do not put that in there. Let me do it. Ah! Where's just a normal roll of tape? That, we have packed up, what do we pack up? Like 10 shot cups, 10 large bowls, and now we got all these spiral, where are they? Spiral, spiral cups that we're packing up right now. Peanuts, bubble wrap, boxes, man, this is, if you're doing an online business where you ship products, this is your life. 
Um, so in my experience, I've sold mostly in person in my life, but I've started to move more into that online shipping and it is a ton of extra work. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very, very simple to unload stuff from the kiln, put it on a shelf, and then wait for it to sell. Opposed to taking pictures, putting it up online, selling it, and then figuring out where it all goes, packing it up, shipping, make sure it's not gonna break, get it to the post office or have the post office come, figure out the best way, like, it's, it's a lot of work. And it was super intimidating to me for a really long time. Um, but then I just was like, I just gotta do it and figure it out. And I've gotten way better at it. Like the first, first ever time I shipped stuff to Texas, it all broke and it was awful. It was terrible, terrible. I definitely recommend just slightly overpacking it a little bit so that you know, so you're pretty much guaranteed that you will, that your stuff's gonna get there without breaking. We're slowly but surely chipping away at all the Kickstarter orders, thanks to everybody that contributed on Kickstarter. Uh, we're also sending out some of the extra pots to the patrons on Patreon. Uh, thanks to everybody over there. You guys' support is super, super helpful. Pretty soon we're gonna have a new sponsor, so get ready for that. Get ready, it's gonna be awesome! Awesome. All right, friends, we are headed to the post office to ship and send some of these pots. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you what we're... Look at all those pots. Yes. All right, I bet the total bill for that is $340. We shall see. All right, friends. We just shipped. Feels so good to get some shipping done. 200 and, what was the total? 200 and, $284.94 to ship like 30, 30 pots probably. Took like 25 minutes in the post office. Shipping is so interesting, you know, you have to pick a, a charge up front. Like I think for these, they were all, if it was in the United States, it was like $10, and if it was outside of the United States, it was like 15. And so some pots, depending on where they are, where they go, how far away they go, are less than that. So some were like seven or eight bucks, but then some that went further were like 12 or $13. So it probably evens out, even though like, each individual person isn't getting charged exact amount that it really is. So shipping is kind of hard. That's why Etsy is really nice because it just calculates the, sh the exact rate shipping based on where the seller is from or where the buyer is from. Like on Kickstarter, I had to choose a shipping rate. So a flat rate box would have been nice for that or I guess the way I'm doing it is gonna work out fine. I might lose a little money, I might make a little money, I don't really know. But, all right, feels good. We are in the midst, we're probably a third of the way through all the packing of the Kickstarter maybe. Craziness, craziness. Thank you guys all so much for getting all that. Hopefully uh, this video helps you out. Maybe you picked up a few little tips about packing and shipping. It was the super most intimidating thing for me forever. But now we've easily packed and shipped over 100 pots worldwide. Oh, I shipped one to the UK and I think the $15 shipping from outside of the United States, but it like cost $25, so lost 10 bucks on that one. But you know, it's all good, it's all good. All right, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all those things. See you in the next video. Whew.